Here are two wooden hydrometers that I built. I use them for my shop to measure the moisture in the air. I built these a couple years ago. This one is similar to a piano. That would be the soundboard and the rib. And how they work is they have two pieces of wood that are glued together and one of them the grain will run this way and the bottom one the grain runs this way so as the moisture in the air gets high this one's um, it's called the driver it'll swell and it'll cause the arm to curve so it'll raise up and down according to the moisture in the air and I've made some markings on here for different times of the year and right now it's very humid in my shop so I'll show you guys how to make one I built this panel and the grain is running this way so I'll cut a strip off Here I've made a hot box and I just use a sheet of plywood to make the box and I have a handheld hydrometer and it's reading at 69 degrees and 43 percent humidity and I'll place that in here and I'll put my strip in and I cut two and now I can put on my top. I'll first turn on the light. That works fine. And I'll put on my top. And it does not have to be sealed 100% because you want the moisture to leak out. So there is my hot box. And the light is on. And this is the new toy I got. It's for my iPhone and it's called a Wemo and it controls the on off switch to my power supply so I'll let that sit overnight my pieces have been drying overnight and it's at 82 degrees and 36 percent humidity here is one of the strips I cut last night and I'll just put it against the fence so that shrunk 4.75 millimeters overnight. Here I've cut some strips on the table saw. So And these strips, the grain runs this way, and I will glue it together to the pieces that we're drying. And I'll keep it in the hot box so I don't expose it to too much outside humidity. I've taken the arm out of the hot box and already it starts to swell. As you can see there's a curve in it. And now I'm ready to mount one end. So I'll just glue a block on this end. So I place a t piece of tape on here. I've made a small mark on the bottom of the arm. Here I've stuck it in my hot box for about 10 minutes. 
So here's the mark. And you can see that's how much it's moved. So here are three readings so far. The first one was from my hot box. This one was in the shop. And this one is inside the home. Now my next one I will put it outside and see how it raises. So I've left this outside for a couple hours and it moved up to this mark. So this is outside, this is in my shop, my hot box, and inside my house. So that's quite a range. And the outside temperature is 55 degrees and 70% humidity. And now I have a, another wooden hydrometer. And now we have three.